we're going to be using titanium white, raw sienna, cadmium yellow pale, yellow ochre, chrome yellow, cadmium red, cadmium red light, permanent rose, cadmium red deep, alizarin crimson, dioxazine purple, French ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, cobalt blue, sap green, phthalo green, raw umber, and burnt sienna. And of course that was a mixture of titanium white and uh, as you can tell I added some burnt sienna along with some permanent rose. That's permanent rose. If you've noticed, I'm adding the same color wherever I see it. Yellow ochre, titanium white, raw sienna. I always try to utilize the same color wherever you see it. So you might see that color on the skin tone and you might also see it on an article of clothing. Just go ahead and set that color wherever you see it. That was raw sienna. And I've gotten some phthalo green with that raw sienna. That was the same color. I was just uh, putting more phthalo green. I'm 
I'm still adding those green shadows wherever I see. Now, if you look at my painting, you can tell that I've wiped off some paint off the painting. I'd been working on it and I didn't like the way the colors were looking so that I didn't include it here. I didn't want you to walk through the whole process with me. Just watch me wipe off the paint. So if you watch it in the speed paint, you'll be able to see me wipe it completely off. We're going to start brand new and uh, I'm going to be applying thick paint. And what that was a mixture of was the mixture of burnt sienna, French ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson and I've lightened it by putting it with some that I had already lightened uh, with titanium white at this moment what I'm doing is I'm just applying the shadows wherever I see them and I've put more burnt sienna to the mixture And as you can see, I'm still measuring everything as I'm going through my painting. You're never done actually doing the composition of the painting. Even though you've already done your sketch, as you're applying the paint, you have to make sure everything's in the right place. So you're still kind of drawing at the same time. A good way to tell if you have everything in the right place is if you have a mirror and look at it from the reflection. What will start happening is since you're staring at your painting for a very long time, even though things are out of place, you can't spot the errors. Another way to start spotting the errors is if you stop painting, take a break and come back. Once you come back you'll be able to spot those errors and uh, anything that is not where it needs to be. If you had watched one of my videos you'll be able to see that I have a big wall mirror behind me and that's how I'm able to tell the errors that I do have. With this uh, new day, we're going to go ahead and start brand new. And the first mixture we will be having is titanium white, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, cat red deep, and some yellow ochre. This will give me a nice skin tone. And it's more of a highlight. I'm adding permanent rose titanium white yellow ochre to tone it down more titanium white see when I had done the mixture I put a little too much permanent rose so I had to tone it down I'm putting in a little cat red deep and a little yellow ochre and some titanium white. Now it's making it warm or more yellowish. And more cat red deep. And more titanium white. And I added some cat red to that. And as I had mentioned earlier, I add those wherever I see them. 
added some alizarin crimson now if you can see there's different colors on there and if you squint your eyes by looking at the colors I have on my palette they're the same value that means they all kinda look like the same color when you squint your eyes even though the one I just added was a little bit darker it's still the same value I'm adding it to his forehead wherever I see that and around the chin wherever I see that warm red color on the nostrils if you notice I just add a little bit at a time At this point, I'm adding it like I'm coloring. All right, some more titanium white, some yellow ochre, and cat red deep. more titanium white just a little bit blizzard and crimson and that you know warm colors around the chin right by where the shadows at And it's going to be around the crease of the eyelid too. Remember I had mentioned that where our skin folds, usually there's quite a bit of blood flow there. That's why you would add warm colors to it and uh, usually a red warm color. More laser and crimson. Dioxazine purple. I usually like to use that color around the lips. And it's around the um, bottom portion of the eye. 